Commander, this is Vice Admiral Narlock, commanding the Republic 29th Fleet. Welcome to Mekshaw. Thank you. Should I join you aboard your ship? Negative. It's best that we meet on the station. I have a local contact who's helping me arrange refueling for our ships. Your Jedi friends are already here. Send me coordinates now. Narlock out. Quite a place, huh? Commander, this is Jot, an old friend of mine. He served 30 years in the Republic Navy, and now he's Mekshaw's chief engineer. Call me Junker. Everyone does. And chief engineer is a bit fancier than we like around here. Me and my crew just keep things running. Lights, water, atmosphere. Mekshaw's neutral officially, but me and mine will back the Republic to the end. Whatever you need, we'll help you get. Thirty years in the service. That's quite a career. You must have seen a lot. Mostly access hatches and fuel lines. Engies don't get pretty views like officers. But I've had an exciting moment or two. Junker's been working to get us the fuel we need. But it isn't as easy as I'd hoped. Like I said, Mekshaw's neutral. So your ships don't get topped off until the powers that be vote on it. See, Mekshaw used to be run by the Huts. The locals kicked them out while they were distracted with McKeb, then started running things themselves. So all the big decisions come down to a vote by the leaders of the five biggest crews. Lucky for you, I'm one of them. Hutbreaker, she led the revolt. So now she runs the docks. She'll vote for you. Fuel sales go straight into her pocket. So you just need one more vote. Unfortunately, I'm no diplomat. <laughs> and sorry, Junker, but neither are you. So you need us to get the last vote? and stop whatever the Empire has planned. What else did Darth Savak tell us? We're dealing with Darth Shar. She's the Dark Counselor in charge of Imperial Logistics, which... doesn't sound very scary. Maybe. But you don't make the Dark Council just by getting supplies delivered on time. Never underestimate a Sith. If you're looking for Sith, they'll be with the Brothers. Bunch of creepy slavers down on the lower levels. Empire is their biggest customer. We can bet they'll show up in force as soon as the fleet starts refueling. We'd better plan out our defenses ahead of time. Could Arn and I scout out the docks a bit? I'd like to see what we're dealing with. Of course. I'll take you myself. We'll catch up with you later, Commander. All right, just us now. No need to put on airs. I know what you're thinking. Because I'd think it too. You've got a whole big fleet out there and a tiny rock full of lowlifes here. Why not just roll in and take what you need? A place like this doesn't stay independent if they don't have some impressive security. You're just as sharp as you look. Hutbreaker has a failsafe rigged up. Push a button, it fires a pulse that makes all the fuel on the station inert. Takes weeks to make the fuel useful again. Not the way you want to go, trust me. I got a much easier route for you. Hutbreaker's hosting an auction at her stronghold on the other side of the station. All the crew leaders will be there, and I can get you in. It's your best chance to start winning that last vote. What is Hutbreaker auctioning off? Couldn't even begin to tell you. All sorts of crazy stuff passes through Mekshaw. Crossroads of the galaxy. Now, let me just get a few things sorted and we'll get you on your way. What in the... Are you? I saw that lightsaber. Sith trying to take you out already! In the middle of my turf! 
I don't know. He felt... strange in the Force. Shrouded, somehow. Besides, why wear a mask when his lightsaber is so obvious? Doesn't make sense. Don't ask me why Sith do what they do. I always figured the ones who wear the mask just don't feel scary enough without them. Speeders that way. I'll meet you at Hutbreaker's place in a bit. Gonna put more droids on perimeter security. Blasted Sith think they can just strut right in here! Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'm not here to con anyone. The Republic will give them a fair deal for the fuel. Settling for fair isn't what got these people to the top on Mech Shah. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker, revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. What about the brothers? Jot mentioned they work with the Empire. Yeah, they're slavers, all part of some weird religious cult. The Empire buys most of their stock. A lot of the refugees who come through here end up in the Brothers' pens, and Hutbreaker isn't above throwing troublemakers their way, too. Needless to say, you won't be getting their vote for anything that helps the Republic. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Wald, one of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Is there anything else I should know? We'll keep our eyes open for any other big players, but I'm sure you can handle these guys. Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves! Now, we're masters! Imagine what we can become in just a few more years! All we've got to do is stay us! Be what we've been so far! We keep the peace, we keep the balance, and we keep moving forward! We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet! All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi! All the people who think they run things, who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends. EXPANDING! Everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer. STRONGER! By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here! <laughs> Welcome to Meksha. 
Did you enjoy the speech? I think the Republic might not give in so easily. Time will tell. In the meantime, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, can't you? Narlok gave me his word. Servants of the Republic often espouse high ideals, even as their deeds tell a very different story. No need to be rude. Commander, this is Darth Shar. Dark Counselor in charge of production, logistics, and civil order. How do you do? Darth Savick mentioned that we might find you here. She's been very cooperative. Ah, oh, well, she must have been so disappointed not to have killed you. But then we wouldn't have had a chance to meet like this. I'm sure the two of you have a lot you could talk about, but we do have a previous appointment. Enjoy the auction, Commander. I do hope we get to meet again soon. I've heard you enslave people and sell them to the highest bidder. You have heard truth. Consider yourself blessed. There is purity in truth as there is purity in labor. We take beings without value and give them value. We give labor to those who suffer without purpose. Our works enable greater works. Our labors create laborers. Useless beings are made useful again. The galaxy is made better. Forcing someone to do things against their will is wrong. Slavery doesn't make the galaxy better. It destroys lives. Activity can only create. Idleness, apathy, inaction, these destroy. Your words waste breath that could be used productively. This entire event is a waste. We will witness no more of it. Get friendly with someone else. I've got nothing to say to you. How about, hello? That would be a good start. You're wasting your breath. I don't deal with your kind. What do you mean, my kind? I don't deal with Mandos or their pals. We're done here. Exactly what I'd expect from someone who actually claims the title Darmanda for his crew. Are they really that bad? Darmanda are soulless. Honorless. I don't know why he was cast out, but I do know we shouldn't trust him. Hey, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I knew he was an exile, but he's a lot touchier about Mandalorians than I expected. Now that I think about it, I bet he's just trying to keep up his ex-Mando tough guy act in front of everyone here. Word is he spends a lot of time brooding in the cantina. If you were to run into him there, he might be a little less surly. Maybe. Worth a shot. Chunky Faguta de Obora Geoto Kakise. De Mote Kikasa, do Bonilis de Oto. Chai con Kunta Chichai. It depends on how well you treat your friends. Makipuna Malituta or Mishka. Conchita Chichakta. Kusa Malachikuta, Ikosa Mose Alachuta. I'm curious. What's your stance on fueling the Republic ships? The sooner the better. What do you have in mind? Chibula wa mi chade sula. Kastu undile, jigo hola lukuta. Tungi machechu, kuti nanki he. Wana wa de bloto wichawa. Had enough fun for one night? I'm finished here. 
We heard about the assassin earlier. Glad you're still in one piece. They should have known one Sith wouldn't cut it with you. I'm honestly not convinced they were an assassin at all. Strange. But I guess we have no choice but to keep moving forward. On the bright side, the docks aren't the defensive nightmare I was afraid they'd be. Plenty of good choke points, blind corners, and elevated positions. Hutbreaker doesn't want an invasion, so Narlock's only allowed to bring a limited deployment. He's rounding up his best troops now. Got a lot of practice working on droids on Osis, so I'll help Junker modify his service droids to help us fight. In the meantime, I sent Arn to stake out the Brothers' territory and watch for Imperial activity. If they send anyone after us, we'll know. How is Arn handling his lessons? He's a quick study. Much better than he thinks he is. Honestly, once he learns to believe in himself, he'll be fine. And what about you? How do you feel about being his teacher? It's not as bad as I was afraid it'd be. I think the old man just gave me an easy one to start off with. But I have to admit, he was right. Teaching someone else really helps solidify the basics for yourself, you know? Helps you focus on what's important. We best get moving! Let us know how it goes with the crew leaders, huh? If you need anything, just say the word and we'll be there. Why did you come here? I don't like the way you're talking to me. It's about to be more than talking. You understand me? Stop the threats. It would be smarter to work with me. You think I'm gonna work with someone like you? <laughs> you better spit it out fast. What do you want? The Republic fleet has to get that fuel. I want you to vote to sell it to them. <laughs> I get it. You wanna buy my vote? Very upstanding. Well, everything's for sale at the right price. You know how this works. You do a little something for me first, and I'll consider it. What did you have in mind? You know that slimy little Rhodian Vink? Runs a smuggling crew? He's been raising prices on me, and I'm sick of it. Profits are thin enough without that bug-eyed scammer button in. I want him and his bodyguards dead. No witnesses, no chance the Darmander catches the blame. I know the guy who's next in line. Done business together. He'll hire some of my guys as bodyguards, and I'll be in a nice spot. So, there it is. Take out Veek, and the vote's yours. No deal. I won't be your assassin. Your call. Oh, good luck getting them votes. I'll be here if you reconsider. Chunky Faguta, Gio Bora, Geoto Kakise. Makipuna Malituta, or Mishka. You don't waste time. Bumpa come back, Niji Tonka Giliski Chanaga. Poko the pal could chop the wampa, la agua kilia jikoska. Chonki faguta, geo bora, geoto kakise. Ni at umpampa, boshura moki. Who do you support? Nak manoya, no chahaita. Tuta Mishka, Nucha Aita. Bumpa come back, Niji Tonka Gilis Kichanaga. Buna Naikachu, Ne Tutu Buga. Jakusa Mala Jakuta, Ikosa Mose Ala Tuta. Patogawa Kiku Bakile. Why me? Can't your own people handle it? Ki Kasa da Yakatoto. Umpa Bitwala Bitwala Nibobo. Oya duka changa kapula. Dimuti kikasa do bunyelis di oto. Bampaula kava ji oto. Umpa bitwala bitwala ni bobo. You want to do business with the huts? Bagsra wana waka. Me buna wa di te utwipi. Kasu yali koyaran kenka kurun. Umpa ta ti tok maki chisa chubala wa wuni. I didn't know the exchange was on, Meksha. Kuchuso, you mata chikotoya. Mata humpa, muli rafavaba. 
un po' abituale, abituale di bobo. Nocta ciulna do bella. Ma tu che va, chi cuba, chi le? I'll bring the envoy back, safe and sound. Cucciuso, you mate ci cortoia. Ja, ai tai choppa. Mi tuana shotto. Kappa me chispa. You weren't invited to this meeting, Commander. I gather your meeting with Beak is cancelled then? Kavaji otatako gauta no pisto pampawuta. I must say, I am surprised Veek chose his reputation over saving a potential deal with the Huts. Conta chota, casa yuli koira to le kankitong. So this was just a way to get back at Veek. Do tipuna puna, manchika pugnoni snemo. In truth, both of our organizations lose millions of credits to Harido Wald every month. It's getting expensive. Kiko ubo kili wata panka tonko potoko wata. Once Veek and his ilk are out of the way, we'll divvy up his roots and cruise between ourselves. Yako pa chiji kuting and nulia makachisa. So you might have to call Toya. Me goose your phone with double magma. Dead. It was an ambush. She was working with the exchange all along. Bampaula Kavaji Otto. The huts in the exchange made a deal to kill you and split your resources between themselves. They didn't count on anyone else getting involved. Kasuyali koyaran kinka kurung. Un po' combac, ni giton cagilischi chanaga. Un po' bituala, bituala ni bobo. You must be joking. Chonki faguta, gio pora, gio to cacise. Cusa mala cicuta, i cosa mosse alla tuta. Un po' bituala, bituala ni bobo. Guido bamba, una guta, tanque guta. I have other priorities right now. Un patati tok maki chisa ju balawa wuni. Pide perupa kado ashini ko higa danaela. Ju kusa mala chikuta i kusa mose ala chuta. No ye ne vota nakma. Yes, that should be all. Ine gu da iji liska chalanga wa. Gigi haku. Arn, is that you? Listen, I need your help. There are slaves. Dozens of them. The brothers are loading them into shuttles. Imperial shuttles. We have to stop them. Tao is your master, Arn. You should be talking with her about this, not me. She told me not to interfere, but I can't just sit back and watch this happen. Tao, do you read me? Arn is attacking the brothers. They're about to ship out slaves for the Empire. Blast it! I'll meet you there! Arn? They're slavers. Monsters. The worst scum in the galaxy. But I, I don't want to kill them. I didn't want to kill any of them. I just... I had to. They didn't give me any other choice, did they? There was no other way to get to the slaves and free them before it was too late. What else could I do? Was there some other way? Please, 
I have to know. You have to tell me. The other option was to do what you were told and stay out of this. I couldn't do that. I couldn't. Thou doesn't know, but... When I was injured, the people we were fighting, they were slavers too. Back then, I, I couldn't stop them. Years of recovery and pain. Maybe I didn't want there to be another way. Maybe... Maybe I saw my chance to get payback, and I took it. I don't think that's who I am. I don't want that to be who I am. But part of me is glad they're dead. We all feel that pull from the dark side sometimes. It's part of the Force. Uh, part of all of us. But it doesn't control you unless you let it. You're right. Thank you. I... I... Thank you. Arn! Are you alright? I'm sorry, Master. I'm, I'm sorry for all of this. I saw those people being rounded up and I, I couldn't... I, I didn't know what else to do. Come on. The imps might send reinforcements. Let's get back to Junker's place and you can tell me everything. You didn't just hit the brothers, you practically wiped them out! We're supposed to be keeping the peace! Arn was there on my orders. If you or Hutbreaker have a problem with what he did, take it up with me. You think I care that those creeps are gone? I'd give you a medal if I could. It's Hutbreaker who wants our hides over it. Is she still willing to sell us the fuel? Yes, for an extra 40%. Then let's stick to the mission. We don't need to give Arn any more grief than he's already giving himself. I agree. We need to focus on getting those ships fueled. The vote went in our favor, so I've got the fleet organized and ready to start refueling. Safe bet the imps will show up as soon as we start, so we'd better get ourselves into position right away. I'll meet you all here at the docks. Hey, I wanted to thank you for letting me know when Arn called you. I'm glad I had the chance to help him. Of course. You're his master. He needed your guidance. Still feels weird to think of it that way, but I appreciate you trusting me to do it. My best troops. Wish I could bring more, but we're on thin ice with Hutbreaker as it is. There are three main approaches the imps could use for their assault. The main catwalks, the maintenance tunnels, or the docks themselves via shuttle. The main catwalk is the most direct route, so we'll have our strongest defense there. Commander, that's you. All right. What about the other routes? Arn and I would be best for the tunnels. In close quarters like that, they'll never make it past our lightsabers. My droids know those tunnels better than anyone. I'll send them to back you up. My troops will cover the docks as best they can. But our anti-aircraft weapons are limited. Once our ships start refueling, weapons and docking bays are disabled. Will Hutbreaker be angry about you stepping in like this? Sounds like we're ready. May the Force be with us all. We can do this! We must do this! For the Republic! It's over! Drop your weapon! It's been a long day, my friend. 
I'm doing what I came here to do. Don't make me kill you first. I've never seen better timing in my life. You? You're the Alliance commander. Guess we're done then. If you can kill the Sith Emperor, I don't really like my odds. <coughs> Mission now. Banter later. Narlock is here. They were trying to activate the failsafe, but we stopped them in time. We've got them on the run down here. That's all clear. Outstanding work, everyone. Let's regroup outside. We did it! We actually did it! Combined with the fleet from Onderon, our odds of victory are climbing. Vice Admiral Narlock, I look forward to seeing you at the rendezvous. Please set out as soon as possible. Of course, General. Thank you all. You saved my ships. And you may have saved the whole of the Republic. Save the thanks until after Corellia. I'm sure I can spare more by then. Thanks to your heroism, the Republic will have enough ships to challenge Malgus's armada when they arrive at Corellia. But numbers are no guarantee of victory, and our foe is known for his cunning. You have my coordinates. Meet me right away. The battle is about to begin. Well, it's been a bucket of fun, but these old bones need a good three or four day nap. Stay spry, kids. Junkers out. Thank Hutbreaker and the others for us. Yeah, yeah. No sign of Shar anywhere on Mekshaw. She might have died on one of the shuttles that Narlock's troop shot down. Or she bailed as soon as the fight didn't go her way. That would definitely fit her profile. What do you think about this prisoner, Anri? Will we get anything useful out of her? She seemed to be a key part of the Empire's plans. She might know a lot. Every little bit helps, especially with what we're up against. I guess we'll see you at the rendezvous. This will be my first time back on Corellia since the last time. Can't believe it's been so long. I never expected to be fighting the Empire on Corellia again. I hoped we were past all that. Maybe if we win, it'll stick this time. See you there, Commander. Leaving already? No time to stop for a few drinks? What? Ser seriously? No. Come on. You really do have a way with people. We received coordinates for your strategy meeting with General Derun. They included rather explicit instructions that only you should attend. I can't imagine why they wouldn't be comfortable sharing their battle plans with some of your friends. It's an important battle. That's probably why they're more cautious than usual. I'm sure it's nothing personal. Oh yes, I'm sure. The shuttle is ready when you are. 